feelings and clamping them to their bosoms. I think if you find a baby bird, I think the best thing that you can do is to leave it where it be. Oh, right, hold on, alternatively, Matt, that's a good idea. Leave it where it is, or take it and nourish it. Hold on, a third option's appeared to me. What you could do... Is this the lucky... This cocky is the cocky lucky method. The cocky lucky method. Get six baby blue tits and your mate Derek Jessup. <laughs> it wasn't what's, called Derek. What's he Jessup. called? He was called Jason Claricoats. Jason Claricoats. He was get older your than mate me. Jason Claricoats. Get a spade and smash it in the skulls of six baby That's not blue what tits. He did, they they not decapitated them. Decapitated them with a spade. Didn't you, Trevor? I didn't do it. I you asked Jason. Got Mr. I asked Fairbrand Jason to do it. it or Jason Weathercoats. <laughs> Didn't you? You yes. would have got dusty and dusty coats. It was the chopper. kindest thing to do. There were oh, yeah, six easy. baby little blue tits. They were dying in the hot sun. Nothing was going to save them. I could let them die in agony, or I Put could go over the shade. road and Put ask them in Jerry a shade, Trev. Oh, and die slowly and coolly. No, their mum would have come back to them. Let Trev. nature. Mum, nature has not evolved spades from the sky, has it? Yeah, Trev. No, like so we've died through a ceiling. Nature is cruel. Nature is cruel. Not cruel, Trev. It's she is different. It's absolutely indifferent to the fate of. Those little baby cruel. blue tits. Oh yeah, thank God you stepped thank in, God you I did. wonderful human they had a and shot their heads off with a shovel. Well, the wor <laughs> most disturbing thing is he didn't do it himself, he hired a thug. He got himself a goon, he got himself a heavy to chop off baby birds heads. J him and Jason Weathercoats. Claricoats. Lopping off baby yeah. birds heads, it's just unimaginable I bet Claricoats was going, uh, hey boss, <laughs> is this what I do boss? <laughs> And then Trevor's <laughs> at the back going, Yes, Jason, move forward. That's it. <laughs> Lift up the spade. <laughs> hey, boys. Did I do good, boys? I stuffed their heads a real good, boy. Yeah, that's it, Knuckles. <laughs> Wipe out those little jerks. <laughs> they think they're better than us, these little blue tits. Well, I'm gonna show those guys good. Take that from a shovel. hi -ya! Hey, you're better than me now, you wise guys. You now, goddamn Jason, to the old people's home. <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, these old people, nature's not looking after them, we gotta do it. Jason, hold them down! Yeah, and then, <laughs> Hey boss, it's the cops. Boss, where'd you go? <laughs> Jason, you wait there. <laughs> you talk to the cops, you've done a real bad thing there, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you use Jason Weathercoats <laughs> as a murder device, as your Imp you are like an impotent sex offender with a brute assistant, aren't you, Trevor? No, I'm not. You've made that much worse than it actually was, and Jason was happy to do it. He, he <laughs> knew it was the kindest thing to do. Jason Sometimes you've got to be cruel. Jason loved his work. You telling me? You <laughs> telling me? How long did you talk to Jason? What How about vets who put puppy dogs down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're vets. Trevor, they're vets. They don't get Jason Weathercoats to come in and kick puppies to death with an off-now boot. They don't say, Jason, go and get some garden shears and cut this hamster in half. They don't do it for sexual pleasure, being another one of the integral differences between vets and you and Jason what, Weathercoats. I what like did, animals. What did you do with the bits no, afterwards? I Where like did the bits go, Trevor? And they went down the back of the hedge. They were, oh, oh, that's where, <laughs> that back of the hedge, I bet there's a heap of bodies a metre high from trees. Oh, I like animals, and I, I've always tried to look after them. Yeah, I know, you're but lovely. You, the I tell you, you remind me of St. Francis of Assisi. I remember that particular parable of St. Francis of Assisi, who'd been all followed by birds, and then he got his dumb goon assistant, Jason Weathercoats, <laughs> to smash their heads in on an evil Knievel bike ride red toy thing that you have when you're a kid. What is wrong with you, Trevor? Nothing. I care too much. That is what that I could have. I could have just walked. Caring too much. Or it could be that his crime is killing in God's little creatures. 